So after a big old week over in Europe with a lot of the major leagues have been given the big fat go-ahead to return to action. It was all the way out in the Far East where it all kicked off back again. And it's been an absolute shitter for me this past week. We'll take a little look at my predictions. Of course, next week's action next. That's right, folks, back once again with another prediction video. This time we'll take a look at match day number five out in the K-League. That's right, we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button. I'll give you a bang up to date with all things K-League related, pub and rose related, world football related. We're going to know here. Underwaterowski. That's right, of course. A uh, big fat thumbs up to the Premier League and, of course, the Championship. They are going to be resuming uh, in mid-June. We'll get to those a little bit, uh, well, another day. But today, we're going to be talking about the K-League. That's right. It all kicked off. It all resumed, of course, after the old lockdown out in the K-League. I'm still with you, brothers. I'm still with you. But I think, uh, you know, it's been an absolute shitter. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I don't think you should be looking at my K-League predictions anymore because I've had an absolute stormer. Uh, so let's get into it then, shall we? Take a look at the old predictions and, of course, the results for match day number four out in the K-League. So it all kicked off at Digu FC up against Sangju Sangmu. Uh, that was the early kickoff. What was it on Friday? Something like that. It all ended up all square in the end, 1-1. Sassina with the, the, the only goal for Digu. It scored on the 51st minute. Uh, Xiong Ming Sung uh, bagging the equaliser on the 62nd minute for Sangju. Uh, and that point themselves uh, puts uh, Sangmu Sangmu up to well, about fourth in the table. Uh, Digu FC coming at you now in standard down in ninth still. I actually went with the 1-0 win for Digu, so I've got the one wrong. Uh, in fact, just tell you now, I've got a I'm all pissing wrong. Uh, next up it was Gang One FC taking on uh, Junbuk Hyundai Motors. That ended up a one 0 win uh, for Gang One. Uh, Mu Young Go getting a, getting the goal on the 37th minute. Hung Jung Ho getting himself sent off for Junbuk on the 16th minute. So uh, you know, uh, in all of, in all honesty, it was 10 man up against 11 man, and of course 11 men did win in the end. Uh, so that was a good win for for Gang One. Uh, that gets them up to fifth in the table. Uh, Junbuk Hyundai Motors uh, remain top of the table. Uh, or do they? Uh, actually, over the two 0 win for Junbuk. So I got that one wrong. Uh, next up was Busan IP uh, I Park taking on Su Wan Samsung Blue Wings. That ended up all square, uh, nil nil. In fact, we'll talk more, more about that one in a minute. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Guangzhou FC. They took on Ulsan Hyundai Motors. That ended up all square, one one. Uh, goals coming from Wang Sing Yum uh, for Guangzhou on the 12th minute, and Hang Di Lu put it in his own in his own goal to give Ulsan uh, an equaliser on the 22nd minute. Uh, that was a, a one one draw. I went with a, a one nil win uh, for uh, Ulsan Hyundai. So I got that one wrong as well uh, so yeah back to the one I was I, was, I briefly mentioned Busan I Park they took, took, took on Su Wan uh, Samsung Blue Wings my boys uh, they ended up all square with a big fat nil nil actually with a 2 nil for, for Su Wan so guess what got that one wrong as well uh, Su Wan got that one wrong that's my new little thing there uh, what else have we got going on we've got FC Seoul they took on Sungnam FC that ended up as a 1 nil win um uh, for uh, Seung Nam uh, Tomar Slav Kils scoring in the 90th minute uh, to give themselves a big fat three points I went with a 2-2 draw got that one wrong yes I did and then finally it was Inchon United they took on the Puhang Steelers that ended up as a 4-1 win comfortable win for Puhang Steelers um, with goals from Stanislav Ilichenko Chang Ri La or Ha 17th minute Seung Mo Lee uh, Ming Kung Song on the 90th minute uh, Ho Nam Kim getting the consolation goal for Inchon United uh, Puhang Steelers up to fourth now but John Buck still lead the line out in the table and again I got them all wrong and in, in my world that means I'm a big fat shit stain that's what I got shit stain predictions for me out in the old K League um, let's take a look at how you guys got on in fact before that let's take a look at the table here it is uh, so John Buck uh, lead the way Olsen Hyundai second Xiong Nam FC in third uh, Danabox Guangzhou FC Unchin United just above them and then Busan IP Park but how did you guys get on let's take a little look so let's take a look at you guys' prediction then In Her kicked it off with a pretty reasonable prediction in fact he was probably the best of a bad bunch this week. Uh, Yannick Buster did pretty poop. Kevin Wright, even with an edit, did absolutely poop. And that fella at the end then, I don't know how to pronounce it, he also did pretty poop. So, predictor of the week goes to Inha and the old K-League. But now we're going to take a look at match day number five, aren't we? So let's get into it. So kicking off all the K-League action this weekend, it will be Inchon United up against Gang One FC. Uh, taking place on Friday. Now the last six encounters between the two sides sees three wins for Gang One. Uh, one win for Inchon United and two draws along the way. They did play... Uh, 
um, in Inchin United last season. And it was a 2-1 win for Gang 1. That was around about June. Uh, this time last year, you know, not too far off. Um, heading into this, of course, uh, Inchin United struggling at the moment. They are 11th in the table. But a win away from going up as high as uh, 8th. A win for Gang 1 in 5th. They could go top of the table. That's right, depending on what goes. In fact, they will go top of the table if they win. Because, of course, they take place uh, ahead of everybody else. Um, Gang 1 FC have actually just have lost 7 of the last 8 away matches. Have lost have lost seven of their last eight away matches. Inchin United have failed to win uh, 18 of their last 19 home matches in the K-League as well. Gang 1 FC have also conceded at least two goals in five of the last six away matches. So despite all that, they sit pretty in fifth of the table. Um, so the bookmakers' odds on this one. So the bookmakers' odds for this one. Uh, Inchin United, 7-2 underdogs. 2-1 to one is the draw. 17-20 uh, to 20 is the away win. Uh, I'm going to go with a cheeky 2-0 away win as well. I'm going with the bookies. Um, possibly going with the form book as well. 2-0 uh, for me, for Gang 1, picking up the three points. And they will go top of the table if that was to come on true. So next up, the K-League takes place on Saturday. It'll be FC Seoul taking on Jumbuk Hyundai Motors. Uh, of course, um, uh, Jumbuk leading the, leading the table at the moment. Quite comfortably with a one-point lead at the moment. Uh, over the rivals, also in Hyundai. Uh, in fact, though, they do come into this on the back of their defeat. So the last six encounters between these two sides, these zero wins for FC Seoul, five wins for Junbuk, and one draw along the way. That one draw was the last time that these two sides did play in Junbuk, um, around about October 2019. The last time they played in Seoul, though, uh, was a 2 0 win for Junbuk. That was back in uh, September 2019. Uh, of course, coming into this, Junbuk have lost. Uh, they lost 1 0. Uh, Seoul also lost 1 0. So they're both coming in with a bit of ropey form um, uh, in the meantime. Time. How about the bookmakers' odds? Bookmakers' odds on this bad boy, they're going to go with a 15 to 4 for Seoul, 23 to 10 uh, for, for the draw, 7 to 10 on. Uh, for a jump book. So they are red hot favourites and a win for them could extend their lead at the top of the table to a massive four points depending on what goes on elsewhere. I don't think it'll be that big uh, if they are to be victorious. A win for FC Seoul though, they could see themselves go top of the table as well depending on goal difference as well. Uh, the, uh, for me, I've gone with a cheeky, uh, what have I gone with on this one? Gone with a 2-1 home win on this one. Gone with Seoul. I can't believe it. Oh, there must be an error. There must be an error. Must be an error in my predictions. But I'm going go to go with Seoul. going to stick by it and that'll open up the table and that'll be back to back defeats for jump book uh, Hyundai Motors on this one. So next up, who do we have on the old uh, on the old cards? It's the Pohang Steelers. Pohang Steelers taking on uh, Olsen Hyundai uh, Motors. Uh, so this one's got another heavyweight clash. Fourth place Pohang up against uh, second place Olsen Hyundai. Uh, so this one will um, be probably the pick of the round uh, if, for me. Um, and the last six encounters sees three wins for Pohang Steelers. Three wins for Olsen Hyundai. Uh, the last time they played uh, was over in Olsen Hyundai. It was a 4-1 win for the Pohang Steelers. Uh, get in there. The last time they played in uh, when Pohang Steelers were the host so it was also a 2-1 win for the Pohang Steelers. You've got to go all the way back to 2019, around about June time, for Olsen Hyundai's last victory. Uh, in fact, they've only won one of the past four encounters. So heading into this, the Pohang Steelers winning two of their opening four games uh, in, in the K-League. Meanwhile, Olsen Hyundai, similar sort of vein. They're actually unbeaten, uh, winning two and drawing two um, before uh, this game takes place. So I'm going to go and take a look at the bookies on this one. They've got 12-5 uh, to 5 for the Pohang Steelers. 2-1 to 1 is the draw. 23-20 to 20 is the away win for Olsen Hyundai. A win for the Pohang Steelers. Could see them rise from fourth again to the top of the table. That'll be 10 points on the board. Um, this one's a tough one to, to call. Would you go with the, uh, the the form team or would you go with the with the leading team? I'm actually going to go with a 2-2 draw on this one. Uh, everyone takes home a point in the end. Next up is uh, Busan IP Park up against Sangju Sangmu. Now, this, this bad boy takes place also on uh, Saturday. So heading into this Busan I Park, uh, currently find themselves 10th at the table uh, with two points on the board. Their opposition, Sangju Sangmu, uh, currently find themselves 6th in the table, 7 points on the board, uh, winning two of their opening four games. A win for them, could seem rise at a win for uh, Busan IP could see them rise to around about eighth, uh, depending on what else goes on elsewhere. This is a, this is a tough one. There's not much records of this one. The bookmakers' odds on this one go 29 to 20 for Busan IP uh, Park. Uh, uh, 21 to 10 is the draw. 2 to 1 is the away win. So they're going with the away win on this one, I think, slightly. In fact, scrap that. I think Busan IP Park are favourites. Uh, for me, though, what have I gone on this one? What have I gone on this one? I'm going to go with a cheeky 1-0 uh, win for Busan I Park to get themselves up and running and maybe start Start to climb up that table just a little bit. Next up, we have my boys. It's Suwon Samsung Blue Wings up against Guangzhou FC. Uh, heading into this, Suwon Samsung Blue Wings are eighth. Guangzhou, of course, they are the strugglers at the moment. The previous record between these two. 
sees four wins for the Suwon Samsung Blue Wings and zero wins for Guangzhou. There's been two draws as well. Uh, the last time they did play each other was over in Suwon. Uh, it was a 3 0 win, comfortable in the end. It was uh, around about this time last season, uh, 15th of May, comfortable 3 0 win. Uh, You've got to go all the way back to 2017 for the last time Su won. I mean, it's the last time Guangzhou picked up a point against these bad boys. Of course, uh, heading into this, uh, Samsung Blue Wings uh, coming to the back of this with just one win so far this season. Uh, picking up a couple of draws, a couple of defeats as well as a draw. Uh, whereas Sangju, uh, sorry, as, as well as Guangzhou, they come into this uh, just the one point so far on the board. They are looking very, very much to the K League number two. Uh, bookmakers odds on this son of a gun. Let's take a little look at the odds on this one taking place on a Sunday. Uh, four to five on for Su One Samsung Blue Wing. Seven to two is the draw. Nine to four is the sorry nine to four is the draw. Seven to two is the away win. Uh, of course my boys haven't really been uh, uh, prolific so far but I think they're going to get themselves up and running with a 2-0 win uh, to give themselves a boost and maybe climb into the top half of the table. 2-0 for me uh, to take all three points. And then finally we have Sung Nam FC taking on Digu FC. Uh, so this game takes place on Sunday as well. Let's take a little look at the odds on that son of a gun. Uh, nine to five for Sungnam FC. Fifteen to eight is the draw. Eight to five is Daegu. Um, let's take a look at the, uh, the the last bits and pieces between these two. The last six encounters between these two sides. Zero wins uh, for Sungnam. Uh, three wins for Daegu and three draws along the way. They did play uh, in Sungnam uh, around about uh, October time, 2019. It was a two-one win for for Daegu. Uh, you got to go back to 2000 around about April time for the last time Daegu picked up a point so it's it's two wins on the spin for Daegu uh, and maybe this is the time for Singham to get themselves a big fat win Singham actually undefeated in the last five matches in the K-League whereas Daegu actually failed to win their last five matches as well um, heading into this uh, the, the situation in the table sees Daegu in ninth uh, Shungnam up in third, a win for Shungnam could see them go top of the table, a win for Daegu could see them rise a few spots into mid table, uh, I'm going to stick with the form team that is Shungnam here, I'm going to go with a three Give themselves a big old boost and maybe, just maybe, they'll be top of the table uh, at the end of match day number five. Now, between you and I, let's just say that my predictions would have come on true. This is what the table would look like at the end of match day number five. Yes, Sungnam FC will remain, will go top of the table with 11 points. Uh, Gangwon FC will be into second. And uh, we'll be in uh, joint third alongside Jumbuk and FC Seoul. Down the bottom will be still Guangzhou. They're struggling. Inchon United with two points. And Daegu FC as well. Now, be sure to get your own predictions in for match number five in your comment section down below. And we'll do it all again for match number six. And of course, next week will be a very busy week with the return, I think. Is it La Liga uh, or Serie A? One of those two leagues will be back. So we're going to have those. Uh, so the channel is going to start to pick up again. I've actually been working on stuff already for next season, uh, whenever that may come around. Who knows? Who knows? But again, thanks again for your support. If you want to support the channel in another way, there is a link to the to the old Patreon. Check that sucker out in the old uh, description down below. But until I see you all again, be sure to give this video some loving, smash the thumbs up, smash the subscribe, and I'll see you next time.